All right, so we got our magnetic actuator with our gravity core on there. And remember, we're going to put extra electrons on here, and those electrons are going to want to get away from one another. So the, this is some of the hair. They're going to want to spread out and get away from each other, so we're going to see the hair stand up. And that means there's a lot of extra electrons on there in this case. Uh, but you'll see I have a magic wand here. <laughs> and on this side, the hair isn't standing up anymore. And that means there aren't any ex extra electrons, or not as many at least. And now if I move this away, we get some extra electrons. And it's just kind of a cool little thing here. And you can even see it or maybe hear it shock as they're coming off there. There you go. So there's all those extra electrons are jumping to this wire here. Yeah, see if you can get close without trying the eye test. You can see those are extra electrons. Jump, 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 jump. Yeah. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> so what's going on there? This is a really, like you have the force, right? Um, yeah. The Jedi. So what's going on there? So um, we know that uh, extra electrons are going into this wire here. We can see them when it sparks, and then we also see the hair go down. So you'll notice that this wire here, this phenomenon is called grounding. This is a wire. There is metal all inside there where it's a conductor, so the electrons can go through that. And this wire is connected all the way back to the shower. Okay. Well, this shower is metal, and that's connected to metal pipes in the ceiling. That's connected to the drains and all the other pipes in the building and connected to the sewer and all this kind of stuff. So essentially what's happening is this is neutral, and that is really, really negative in this case. So the electrons want to get away from all the other excess electrons. And so they can jump to here, and this is a conductor so that they can flow through here. And there is so much space that way that they can just keep going and going and going. So technically maybe you know, we're adding a bunch of electrons to the building, but the building is ginormous all the pipes connected to it are so big it doesn't matter. An analogy I often use is if you go out to the pond and you know you take a can of Coke or something and you dump it in the pond, okay, you put more liquid in the pond, but the level of the pond isn't gonna go up at all. So what we say is we say, uh, the building, this is the ground, we call it the ground, and it has approximately an infinite amount of, of atoms. And so if you add some extra electrons to it, it doesn't really matter. And so we still say, even though I added a bunch of electrons to this, it's neutral because essentially it is, because I'm not going to get shocked, nothing's going to happen. So when I ground this, the extra electrons go from the charged object into the ground, and then everything ends up neutral in the end because the ground is so big, adding some extra electrons does not matter.